Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Okay. Um, yeah, this man was so nervous in the car. <laughs> you know, because this is the first time he had to do this. But I'm sure he's, he's done well. I mean, um, I'm sure. You know? So, um, yeah, so next time you're going to see him alone, eh? Okay. All right, so I'm Abigail. I'm a business advisor at CEDA. Um, as Lupumlo said, um, I've been his business advisor for, for a while. And all of you are trading in Uteneg. Outside as well? PE side. Oh, you're not limited. Okay, okay, okay. I, I hear you. I hear you. Okay. So um, yeah, so so from from my side, I as we assist small businesses, or from Cedar side, we assist small businesses in the Nelson Mandela Metro, which um, Kariha forms part of. Okay, and then we have the Sara Bartman uh, district area that includes your Jeffreys Bay, Jobatina. Um, Ravrinet, uh, Grames, uh, Makanda, you know, let me just use the new names, and Port Alfred, so it includes all of that. So as a branch, we're responsible for the entire area, but Uteneg or Kariha falls under me. So, um, no, no, under, yeah, me. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I've, I feel sorry for you on outside that's operating outside, um, but no, I can actually assist anybody irrespective of where you're operating. So yes, I'm also not limiting myself. <laughs> so okay, so as Sichle said, we assist small businesses non-financially. All right, so uh, it's those things that. You know, a lot of times we have the technical skills to operate the business. Okay, I'm into sewing, so I know how to sew, I know how to do uh, pattern making, I know all of that. But maybe you lack some of the business skills side, okay? Or you feel that you're not making money ever, you know? So it could be that we can come in and we can assist you um, with training, let's say costing and pricing, basic business skills. If some of you are tendering for, 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 for jobs, then we can assist you with tendering training, not completing your tender documents, okay? Uh, but we can assist you, we can train you that you can do it, um, you can improve what you're doing now. Our okay. training is 100% subsidized, so it's free training. But when we get to the marketing goodies that he referred to, or the business plan, or all of those, then um, we subsidize between 95 and 100%. Okay? So I can't tell you where you're going to be, so I always tell clients, prepare yourself for 5% contribution. Okay, so for example, if the job, let's say you need assistance with 20,000 rands worth of goods, okay, then our con your contribution would be 1,000 rand, and we'll pay the 19,000. It's much better than the promotions at ShopRite and Checkers and all of that, eh? Okay, you never see them on 95%, so I'm just putting it out there. Okay, so yes, we do assist, but we will also guide you. We will never leave you alone. But like I always tell clients, it's a two-way relationship. I won't know if you're struggling. So if you don't tell me you're struggling with something, and if your financial records doesn't show you're struggling, then I will not know that you're struggling. Okay? So if you are honest with me, then we can address what is wrong and what needs improvement, okay? 
And the same with me, you can ask the Pumlo there, hey, I, uh, I'm surprised that I'm still employed, because sometimes I share information, which I'm told not to, but I can't leave the client in the dark. Okay, otherwise he's gonna go crazy not knowing what's happening, and I'm sitting with some information that I can at least share with him and say, listen, this is a situation, there'll be a slight delay or, or something. Okay, but if I'm just not communicating, he, he will never know. Or he might even report me to the CEOs and all of these people with the nice titles. Eh? Okay, so um, yeah, so from Cedar's side, you can see I didn't focus on the rest of the presentation because what you want to know is what we offer. Okay, you don't want to know how CEDA was formed and what type of registration, we, you don't want to know that. You want to know what assistance you can get from CEDA. And those are the things that you can get and the business advisor will also assist you by giving you advice. Okay, because that is actually our core when we consult. All right, because people will come like this morning, I had a, a, a quick session with somebody, and then the person said, um, I need assistance with marketing material. And then, you know, as the conversation went, and you know, now I'm, I, I, I like digging, you know, I want to know what's happening. So, you know, now you keep the conversation going, only to realize that when he markets or when he advertises the business, he will not have the capacity to deliver them. Okay, because remember, if you now suddenly start marketing your business, people are going to start making contact with you, and then you have to tell them, sorry, I can't assist you. Sorry, I only have one lawn mower, and... Um, I can only get to you in three weeks' time because I'm fully booked. You know, so maybe the idea for this client is to hold back a bit on the advertising and we source money first. And I know you, that is what you want to know. Where, where's the money? Where's the money coming from? So what I've also done with the permission of CIFA, okay, I'm just going to touch on what they offer because they are our sister company. Because we do non-financial and they do the financial side, all right? So I'm gonna touch on one of their programs, okay? So what I need to establish is who are all based or operating from the township? So township includes non-white areas. Okay, so if you're operating in town, then this won't be applicable and, and you won't benefit from it, okay? But if you're operating in um, Kwanabushle or maybe Rosedale or what's the other areas here? Langa, you know? If you're operating from those areas, then yes, you can, you can, you will qualify but obviously there's always that fine print, okay? So I'm gonna go into some of the fine print there as well. Because as CIFA, they have um, what we call TRIP funding. So it's, it's a township rural enterprise program, okay? So what they do is they have money available in the form of what we call blended finance. So a portion is a loan and a portion is a grant. So I'm gonna pause on the loan side first because when it comes to a loan, I'm sure the bankers will touch on it as well. Um, you know your credit record must be healthy, okay? Um, when it comes to defaults and judgments, if they're there and they're unserviced, then the chances of you getting assistance is zero to 
slim, it's very slim, okay? But if you have those things and you're servicing it, you know, like you're paying, whether it's an attorney or whether it's the company directly, then something can still be done, okay? Because this program has a lot of benefits. Um, for example, up to 200, if you borrow up to 200,000, right? Then 50,000 will be grant, which means 100,000 would be grant funding that you don't have to repay, okay? And the 100,000, you will have to repay at 5% interest. And I know ABSA can't beat this, so don't even look that way. <laughs> So, and the maximum repayment period for that is five years, okay? What I can also tell you, like I said, I give you all the information. What I can also tell you, it's not an overnight thing. Now, there, ABSA will beat us, okay, or CIFA. Because with this, it can take some time, okay? I don't, I'd rather not tell you how long, but it takes time. So patience, even with CEDA, okay, um, there's processes. And sometimes the processes, again, I need to refer to Lupumlo, sometimes it changes when you're midway and then I have to go back and redo something. And that is something I can't argue, you know, because if the decision maker says, um, effective Friday the 14th, you know, in government, they like doing things like that. It's always, you go today, you complete the form, next week they tell you, the form has changed, you must complete it again. So, it happens. Okay, and I'm not gonna stand here and say it doesn't happen. It happens. But then you must also know, sometimes we get emails from our stakeholders that maybe has funding. And if you're not on the CEDA database, I wouldn't know how to reach you. I wouldn't know how to reach you, all right? But if you're on the database, then we will go through our database and see, okay, all these clients can potentially benefit from it, so we share it, all right? But if you're not on, we don't have your details, all right? So, so that is, in a nutshell, okay, this is a quite a rather big nut, but this is what we do as CEDA, and also what CEDA, CIFA um, does, how they can be of assistance. Okay. CIFA is S-E-F-A. Like CEDA is S E D A, development, and they the financial. Okay, so that is it. And this, I'm, I'm sure, I don't know if, if there's any questions. Oh, when it's CIFA, I'm gonna try, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Assistance. Okay. So what you can bring along if you registered your company registration documents. Okay, number one. If you have financial statements, that would be number two. Okay. If you don't have financial statements and you have a book where you've jotted down more or less your, your sales per event or per day or per month or something, you bring that book with you, okay? Um, please, not the shoebox with all the slips and not the ice cream containers with the slips. We're not gonna go through the slips, okay? But if you have them, good. Okay, then we can assist you to get all of those slips and for it to be converted into financial statements with your records that you have. So don't let me put you off by saying no. If you have it, it's fine. But I'm not going to sit and go through them. 
Okay. Um, so, you know, a lot of times clients will tell you, no, I don't have financial information. But when you ask them, ma'am, how much did you sell yesterday? Then I'm going to get an answer. Sure, I'm going to get an answer. It, 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 it might not be accurate, but she might tell me, no, yesterday was a good day. It was a public holiday. Um, we made between four and 5,000 somewhere there. Right? Then we have an idea what's happening in your business. So, so don't think if you don't have that information that you can't come to us. <laughs> All right? So, um, yeah, so, so that is the basic information. Some people would have a profile, but it's not a requirement. It's not, um, you know, it's not compulsory that you must have it. Because, again, we are there to assist you and guide you. Okay? So, so that is the basics, and preferably to schedule an appointment. Because I don't want you to get there and then I can't see you. Okay? Because if I'm standing here and you're there, I'm not there to see you. So that's why I'm saying prefer preferably um, an appointment. Because I also don't want to be busy with something knowing you are sitting waiting for me and it's something that I can't um, drop. Okay? So now probably all of you are going to wonder, but how are we going to make contact with you? Okay. So I'm going to give you the, um, our office number. I'm going to give you two numbers. I'm going to give you our office number, which is 041-391-2000. And I'm giving you my cell phone number in good faith. <laughs> Guys, I sleep at night, ne? <laughs> no 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 4 o'clock. Ooh, that's the time when I get messages. Okay? So, 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 <laughs> if you... If you strategize, then send an email, which we're going to get to, okay? Because that I'll get when I'm awake, okay? But the, the calling me and uh, say, hey, I've got this brilliant idea, okay? Oh, oh, I just woke up. I had this dream, okay? So I'm giving you my cell phone number, but what I want you to, to do when you send me a message Okay, or when you call me, just remind me where you met me, because I just had an instance where um, uh, our our cameraman here uh, he came to me and he's like, "Don't you remember me?" So I'm gonna tell him what I tell everyone. I'm gonna tell you what I told him and everyone else. I'm not good. I'm really not good with faces. Okay, so. I want you to stop me like he did. And he said, and then he just, I said, okay, we. And when he told me we, um, I almost got this, is the area where he stays right. I was very close, just on the opposite side of the road, you know? So if you give me your name, then I'll know. Okay, but in your case, I won't even know the name. So just tell me you attended this session um, and then you give me your name in that message, then I'll make contact with you. You will also find um, that I can tell you now already, we've been pulled off a lot of things for this month. So until next week, Friday, I'm not going to be easily reachable, okay, or responsive. Okay, so I want you to be with, with, with that as well. Okay, I, I don't want to say message me and you'll get an appointment next week. No, it, it, I can tell you now already, it's not going to happen. Okay, I even told him when I spoke to, to Lupumlo 
I said, well, he knows exactly what I'm busy with. Okay, so please people, just, just know, but you can send me that message and I will respond accordingly. Like I said, office hours, please, preferably. In instances where I know that I need to speak to you or I couldn't get to something, let's say um, we assist you with an event that's over the weekend, then I'm not, not going to say, guys, I'm not reachable. Then I know the four of you, you're going to be there, so I need to be accessible to you. All right, then I'll make sure. You won't get hold of me unless I advise you differently. All right. So, um, yeah, and then you're looking for my cell phone number. I can see all of you are pausing for that number. Eh? Okay. It's, it's 082 450 83. Okay, I'm also going to give you my email address. Okay, you now know my name is Abigail, so it's A. And then my surname, which is Titus, so it's T for Tommy, I for Iris, T for Tommy, U for Ursula. S for Sandy, yeah, A Titus, okay, at CEDA, which is S-E-D-A dot org dot Z-A. You all good? Okay. Okay, with the, with the email address? Okay, so it's a titus, T I T U S. No, it's a titus. Do you have it? A titus at cedar dot org dot zero. Okay, there's another question. <laughs> Okay, so to get on the database, uh, I can see that you are all very eager and you're going to make contact with me. So then we'll put you on the database. Okay, I'm also leaving a few forms here. Um, Lupumlo, you can still facilitate it afterwards even. I can get it from you because I might have to see you this week still. Okay, so um, and even on the... I'm going to get your information. There's just not enough. There's definitely not enough. Uh, but as far as possible, the ones that, the, that now doesn't get one here, make sure you make contact with me. Okay? Because like I said, I'm available for individual um, consultations. And as you can, if I look at the numbers, it won't happen overnight. All right? So let's say... Let's say you contact me next week and I give you a date two weeks from there. Then it's not because I want to delay you. It's based on my availability. All right? I'm not a nasty person, I think. So, yeah. See, Claire? Okay. So, um, so, yeah, I'm not, I wouldn't do it deliberately because ugh, I don't want to see you. Oh, that group. Oh, no, 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 no. So, yeah, so that is it. That is how we'll get on the database. Any other questions? Nothing. Oh. Yeah, typically, typically 12 months, all right? But if you don't have it, like that's what I'm saying, I don't want to make it compulsory. If you don't have the information, then I will, I will understand. I mean, we, we can't manufacture figures. We can't say, 
oh, you did this for the last three months. No, you're guaranteed you're going to do this for 12 months. Okay? So we'll, we'll look at what you have. Okay? Whether it's a calendar year, whether it's your financial year, um, we'll work around that. Or whether it's just a year from, let's say, May last year till end of June, it's a year. Okay? If it's less, it's also fine. It's fine. It's not, it's not a train smash. No. No, but it's good that you're asking the question because, again, I don't want you to stay away because you feel you didn't meet the criteria. Okay? So never feel, I can, I can just talk to you even. I don't have to do more than that and, and guide you and assist you how to gather the information that I require. Okay? So, so don't let that be um, a barrier for you not to make contact. I don't have the information. Oh, sorry, now I can't make contact with her. No, you can make contact with me. All right? In all these institutions, when we come to business, especially black businesses, there's this tape of credit record. Is there, I know you can't change it because it's whatever comes from, but is there any kind of credit checks that you are checking in terms of, because if you are in business, for instance, I've got this idea, and this idea is a profitable idea, but I can't get fund because my record is bad. But the future is there in that idea, and you can go forward with that. But I'm stuck now because I'm coming from that background. Is there anything that can, maybe the, any way of resolving those things and maybe check what kind of background does this person have or whatever situation is there? Because really, even a school child now in our, in our I'm talking about black people, they've got records of pay, not paying their bursaries or schools and all that stuff. So it means, in all these tapes, there's a credit record. Then, even if you have a, a, a multi-million idea or a business, if you have a credit record, you can't do anything. Is there anything that the government or you guys are trying to engage in all this situation about it? Very good question. Okay. Okay, to answer your question, that is the sometimes that I referred to earlier. Sometimes there's a special program, okay? And the special program could be that we could assist you with grant funding only. 